हेलो पीपल वेलकम बैक टू येट एन अदर वीडियो ऑन माई चैनल चेस क्रेज एंड दिस वीडियो इज अ क्रिसमस स्पेशल वीडियो एंड लाइक दिस मेनी वीडियोज विल बी कमिंग डेली ऑन माई चैनल सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू गेट नोटिफाइड फॉर ऑल द अपकमिंग वीडियोज बट फॉर टूडे वी हैव अ वेरी एग्रेसिव ओपनिंग गैम्बिट द स्टार्ट विद द मूव ई फोर सी फाइव एंड डी फोर this gambit is played against the sicilian and there are many players out there that i know who face difficulties against this move c5 that is a sicilian defense so d5 is a very aggressive and easy to play gambit and you will win most of the games with lower rated players or not so experienced players here i'll show you the accepted variation that is pawn takes d4 we continue with the move c3 offering one more pawn and after pawn takes pawn knight takes pawn what have we done is sacrificed one pawn but take an activity here you can see that we have a knight developed and a pawn developed black mainly responds with the move knight to f6 we get the move knight to f3 knight c6 and then bishop to c4 this can come with various options such as first black plays the move knight to c after c takes after knight takes c3 first black takes the move uh, plays the move knight to c6 we play bishop c4 knight f6 and knight f3 here the main move that black plays is d6 or black can also play the move e6 i'll be covering both these lines but first if black plays the move d6 then it's a golden ticket for you because now with the move e5 you are going to win this why because if knight takes pawn then it's all over because knight takes knight is a free knight because the pawn can't take since bishop to f7 sacrifice is on the corner if king takes that is the only move black can play then queen takes queen is a free queen and the free game moving behind if here the knight does not take and instead the pawn takes that you will see in various games then we exchange of the queens out of the board if the king takes then we go with the move knight to g5 and now we are attacking the f7 square and threatening a knight fork here the only way to defend this is knight to a5 a5 that is not so common move but what happens if the bishop comes to e6 it's a mistake because bishop takes bishop pawn takes bishop and knight to f7 wins the game for you and the rook behind if here the knight comes to a5 that is the best move suggested by the engine then we can simply take the pawn with the bishop and then we can continue with knight check on e6 bishop takes bishop takes and then our game would be very easy let me show you if black plays a move such as h6 so as to take this knight the knight to e6 check bishop takes bishop takes and now whatever the black does we can simply short castle like this then we can bring our bishop out bring a rook on the c and d open files and it would be a horror for black to play from here also you can see that this bishop on the e6 square is very very powerful not allowing the rook or the kings to escape from their position moving behind we know that if the king takes the queen then it's winning for you but what if the knight takes the queen then this is more than winning because we go with the move knight to b5 threatening a fork on this the queen side here note that we should not take the pawn because this opening is all aggressive so we have to go with all aggressive moves so we'll continue with the move knight to b5 if black responds with the move rook to b8 so as to protect itself from the fork then we can simply take the pawn with the knight and if black doesn't take care here and plays a simple move such as a6 then he is gone why because knight to c7 is not a fork now but simply a checkmate why are these two beautiful knights moving behind 
if black knows this that knight to c7 is coming then he has to play the move e6 that is the only best move in the position we will continue with the move bishop to f4 that is also a very aggressive move so as to x-ray this rook right here we can take this knight anywhere and then in the next move the bishop will chop off the rook if here black gets an idea and goes with the move knight to h5 so as to exchange with this bishop then we can simply go knight to c7 check king goes to e7 that's the only possible move in the position and then bishop to d2 saving the bishop from the knight as well as planning to maneuver it to the b4 square and then this king will have a hard time staying in the center and I assure you from here you'll win it very very quickly and nicely. Moving behind we know in this variation e5 is a best move right here and we can win it very easily. So now what happens if black goes with the move e6? This is also a very common move played by the black players because we recently played the move c4, bishop to c4, attacking the f7 diagonal. So now what does this e6 move does is take off the vision from this bishop so now the bishop can't see the f7 square. In this case we castle first, black goes with the move d6, we simply go queen to e2, bishop develops to e7 and a rook to d1. This is the main theme of the Smith Mora Gambit in which you have to remember all these moves. That is, first we'll castle, then queen to e2, then bring our rook to d1, pin this pawn to the queen, bring our bishops to c, uh, f4, bring our other rook to c1 file, and then it is a very, very hard time for black. Seeing this variation, after queen to e2, bishop to c e7, rook d1, here most of the black players goes with the move queen to c7 so as to take off the queen from this pin via the rook. So here we go with the move knight to b5 attacking this queen. The queen can't come to the b6 square here that is a very logical move if you think but no it will just hang the d6 square like let's say queen to b6 then the knight chops off the pawn Bishop takes, Rook takes and after castles you can see white pieces are very very good developed. The Bishop can come to f4 or g5, the Rook can develop on the c open file and to your surprise the material are also equal. So from here he will think that it's an equal game but in the development and initiative perspective we are very very strong. Moving behind, so a good move from here will be queen to b8 that most of the games you will see will play the move bishop to g5, castles and now we can chop off this knight. The bishop can't take this knight because then we will get a free pawn and now you can see this is the same position as far as the previous position where the material is equal but our initiative and development is so so strong. So here the, this pawn has to take to stabilize the material and be a pawn up but the black king is very weak and the position is too cramped and it will be very easy from here to continue. So this was the case when black accepts this gambit and plays the move d6 but what if let's go behind and see here in this case after we take the pawn with the knight black goes with the move a6 this is a very common move that you will see but it's rare as well in the previous tournament which i played a player a rated player played this move against me and i was baffled seeing that what does this move do the main idea of this move is to push the b5 square so that our bishop can't sit on c4 and with the move a6 our knight can also not come to b5 so the simple way to continue this is bishop to c4. So as to tell black that what will you do? Will you play the move b5? If black says yes I'll play. Then it's a very huge blunder because we continue with the move queen to d5. And to your surprise 
it's a checkmate and also an attack on the rook the only way to defend the checkmate is to take off this bishop but then we lose the rook and in this case we are materially up and also positionally up because our all pieces are well positioned we are ready to castle in the next move take off our bishop whereas if you see black's position it is so so devastating all the pieces are on the 7th and the 8th rank and black has no future so this was my friends the smith mora gambit and i assure you that you will win many games with this gambit also if you liked it then hit the like button and tell me in the comments then how did you found this aggressive gambit and i have played more than 200 games with this gambit so you can be assured that this is a valid gambit and you will enjoy this in your games just before leaving if you haven't subscribed yet do press the subscribe button we are aiming to reach 1000 subscribers till the end of this year and we have crossed 850 subscribers recently so do take time to subscribe if you like my videos and till then stay safe play chess and meet you in my next video bye bye i can wait even if it's hard to take one moment is enough